Hello and welcome back to Josh Oddy YouTube. Today we are six months into the Avodas and I wanted to ask the question. After six months, what is my honest review? Well, let's go back on some highlights of the Avoda irons and wedges from the past six months. Let's go. Okay, so my journey with the Avodas. Um, I first started off with a shaft that was the 125X Axiom shaft. Now, this was just a little bit too much for me. Um, it was fine, it was, it was still really, really good, producing some really good numbers, um, but I just wanted to see that flight kick up a little bit more, a little bit more spin. Um, you know, that's one thing I always struggled with with my irons was having height and landing it soft. I used to be quite a low ball flighted player. The uh, the 105 X Axiom shaft, drop it down by 20 grams, still an extra stiff shaft. Wow, this was a game changer. Um, and yeah, that's all the way through the bag uh, from the lob wedge to the free iron. Um, I'll explain a little bit about these utilities. So since putting these utilities in, a lot of people that draw the ball have found these quite difficult to get used to and, and difficult to put in the bag. I fade it. So these, when I put them in, they're ever so slightly offset, um, but they're just gorgeous. So I've got these in four, five, five, four, and three iron. Um, and them lofts are coming out at, I think the five iron is at around about 23. The four iron is at about 19 degrees. And then the three iron, this is like the free wood. This is 15 degrees. Um, so yeah, sometimes a bit misleading with, you know, if someone's saying what club you're hitting off a tee, but these are just all gapped in perfectly. Um, and it's the modern day of the golf clubs. You know, if you create that, good gapping in the wedges. Um, you can afford to get some stronger irons. You know, if you're hitting wedge 140 compared to 120, you're gonna probably be gaining more strokes. Um, so for me, distance, distance hasn't really been like a be all and end all, but um, for sure, look, I, I wanna hit it further. I know that hitting it 10, 20 yards further is probably half a stroke gained if you're keeping it in the same diameters. So um, yeah, look, six months in, we've had a little bit of a play around, we've got some new stuff in the bag, but you know, these are just finally molding into the perfect set of irons for me. So um, yeah, look, I've loved having these in the bag. Should we get some numbers and just show you boys what they're made of? Um, these are the same brand as Bryson. DeChambeau used in the US Open and the Masters and everywhere, but they're not the same. They're not 3D bulge, um, but they are the same brand. So a lot of the technology and the design have gone into these that are very similar to Bryson's. Now, Bryson's you probably don't want to use unless you swing it 140 mile an hour with your driver. That bulge on the face, realistically, for someone that swings it slower, is probably going to hurt them rather than help them. Um, so, yeah. These, though, game changer since they've been in the bag. Enough of me talking. Let's hit some balls. Okay, so we're now on the range. Just going to run through um, all of the clubs and then we can kind of analyse the data and just show you some numbers that, you know, super impressed me about the other orders. So, lob wedge straight up, um, 60 yards. Let's just hit a few pitch shots and show you some numbers. Nice start. 
I'm moving really, really weird at the minute as well because, um, just put it this way, I had the naughtiest gym session, like crazy. And yeah, the doms are uh, pretty bad. Okay, so just, oh, nailed the flag. Wow. But check out that backspin up there. That's what really, really impresses me with all of these Avoda wedges. They just spin so much. So yeah, 8,000 spin off of like a 60 yard shot is, you know, super impressive. That vertical launch angle, perfect at 28. I like seeing that low flighted one. Um, and these wedge heads just, you know, especially this lob wedge, it sits so, so flush. Like I can really lay this open um, and it, it's pretty insane. You know, just to hit some little floppers, 17 yards, f almost 5,000 spin. You know, that is stopping like a butterfly with sore legs. So um, yeah, lob wedge, all the wedges are just fantastic. Um, and they club perfectly for me. So lob wedge at 60, sand wedge at 55, uh, gap wedge at 50, and then pitch and wedge at 45. That gapping is just perfect. Um, so yeah, 60 for me typically goes full shot around about 90, 95. Um, sand wedge will be around about that 110, 115. Gap wedge goes to 125 to 130. And then pitching wedge kind of goes into 140. If I want to turn it down and get that extra five, I can hit the 145 shot. So yeah, perfect gapping um, with all of the wedges. And then especially as I go up through the bag as well, that's the important thing about gapping your clubs is it's not actually typically, let's say the correct lofting. You might be a person that launches their 56 ever so slightly higher. So you might want to tweak that down a couple of degrees to get it to that number that you want it to. So for me, something like a sand wedge, I want to be able to hit that 110 shot with sand wedge. That's an important number for me. So, um, and then from there, I have like a, a right shoulder swing with the sand wedge that is just perfect as well. So that drops it down to 100 yards. Um, wouldn't be able to do that if it wasn't that perfect loft. So yeah, the lofting's super important, but Avoda straight out of the pack, they do a great job at getting these lofts perfect. Okay, so I'm now 150 away. Um, this is a 9-9. I don't know if this is going to get there. I'm going to have to hit this like super hard because of the gym session. Um, not because I'm weak and I don't hit it very far. Right, come on, baby. Oh my God. Right, perfect example of the Avoda right there. So people always say, are they forgiving? Boys and girls, I could not have hit that any worse. That was literally out of there. And look at it. It's gone straight down my target line. It's, it's just crazy. So are these clubs forgiven? Yes, they are. Um, surprisingly, when you put them down, they've got that like sleek look of, you know, a really good looking club. But then at the same time, they provide a lot of forgiveness. So let's just try and strike a 9-9 here. Okay, much better strike that one. Really good numbers. Maybe spin a touch low, but that's probably swing speed rather than the club. Um, but yeah, look, I mean, it's two yards offline. It's just, it's great. You know, and since putting these in, yeah, you know, I used to hit good shots with my old irons, but, um, you know, these, I would just say that the off strikes and the bad ones are still within that grid, you know? So there we go, like I've turned one over there, like a lot, 1200 spin. That's more club face. But look, we're 33 feet away. That's like tour average from 150. So 
you know, and that's a bad swing. Um, yeah, these irons really, really do surprise me every time, you know. Um, and that's what I mean about still being in the grid. That's still giving me a chance to roll in a birdie putt. And there we go. This one ever so slightly bottom groove, but look, I've just flown three shots back to back to back to back, one, four, seven. So, um, you know, I can't really say or do much else. Um, yeah, they're very good, very good. Okay, so when I'm fully fit, this five iron utility should be going around about 215. But, as I say, I've got a slight excuse. I had a big gym session. Okay, the worst strike again. But look at how straight it is. Yes, distance has fallen off, ball speed has dropped. But, this is what I love about them, man. They stay in the grid, like, that's gone four yards offline, four yards. You know, so that's, um, that's really what I look for in, in my golf game, especially is just keeping me in the grid, keeping me in play. And that one felt like I turned it over a lot. Um, and you can see there, 300 side spin. Perfect, you know, 215 total with the five iron. And I suppose that's just the utility head. The other head is still pretty forgiving. I'll be honest, it's similar to the other ones, but these for me just gave me that kick up in ball flight. Um, you can see that that backspin is still holding up there. Um, and let me just hit one for example. I'm just gonna hit a slightly higher one, slightly spinnier. I've tried to fade it. I've tried to fade it. And that's the DC. That is the double cross right there. We see it all on this channel though. We show it all. That's the DC right there, boys. You do not want to be hitting that one. Right, let's fade it. There we go. Slightly higher, 13 degree launch. Slightly softer. Same total number. 212 but you know a different ball flight and um, you know I, I have the ability to kick that flight up so yeah it's great let's go to dun 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 the free wood slash free iron okay cheat stick the free iron let's see what we're looking like boys It's another one that just comes out of the toe and it stays in front of me. Just stays in play. Come up and out of it. Hold. Soft bounce. And we somewhat get away with that. Come up and out of one there. But, you know, we... I don't like to say it, but we might just get away with that, you know? That might still be in town, which is, um, that's what you want, you know? Okay, just a dreadful strike, but, you know, it's still down the middle. It's what we want, you know? We want it. Down the middle, that was the objective with all of the equipment I've got in the bag. Keep it in front of me, keep it down the middle. So, yeah, this free iron does just that. Really, really turn one over here. Really bad swing. And 
like I say, I'm not full fit. I'm not swinging my best right now, but you can see even off them bad ones, they're staying in play. They are staying in play. If you want to go and buy these irons, the link will be in the description. And if you also want a discount, send me a message on Instagram at joshoddy 59 and I'll give you a cheeky little discount code. Appreciate all the support on this channel. It means the world to me. See you all for the next one.